Hello and welcome to the channel. Or your state governor re-elected on Sunday to continue as governor for another four years has just thrown more light on his reported support of the whole Progressives Congress APC president-elect Bola Hakmet Sinyubu. This is what he had to say while on the channel's television program. Stay tuned. Subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you. G5. What I told all your people before presidential election, Markinde. Governor Sheyi Markinde of all your state has provided insight into his deliberations with his people in the light of the controversy trailing the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential campaign. Markinde made the disclosure on the backdrop of his landslide re election in Saturday's governorship elections, earning 563,756 votes to defeat runner up Teslim Folarin of the Hall Progressives Congress APC, who polled 256,685 votes. At the February 25th presidential election, the APC's Bola Tinubu had defeated Atikwa Bubaka of the PDP in Oyo and went on to be declared the president-elect. Tinubu's victory in the state followed Markinde's refusal to support Atiku, a northerner on the PDP zoning principles. The Oyo Governors Partnership with four other aggrieved governors in the party, known as the G5, later fueled speculation that he was supporting Southerna Tinubu's bid across party lines. But the governor pushed back against the speculation during a live appearance on Channel's television's The 2023 Verdict on Sunday. Governor Mai Malaboni just won his own re-election under APC, he said. But at the presidential election, PDP carried the Obey states. Does it mean Governor Boni walked for PDP? According to him, the reality is that people will make their choices. At the end of the day, the decision of who they voted for rested with the people. In all fairness, I told our people, you must not do anything that will threaten the unity of this country, he said. We should be pushing in a direction where we will foster a united Nigeria, an inclusive Nigeria. Arguing that the people of Oyo State could not be led blindly, the governor stated that they were quite sophisticated, adding that that is behind us now. Mark Inde said before Nigerians is a president-elect who has emerged, adding that we must support him and work with him for a better country. He reiterated that the agitation of the G5 did not place the individual careers of the governors as a major consideration. We thought we were going to fight for what is right, what is just for this country and for our party. We said, we prefer to see a PDP that will obey its own constitution because rotation and zoning of government and party offices is there. It is part of PDP's constitution, he said. None of us ever thought we are playing a survival game. No, we were just basically saying do what is right, do what is just, have inclusivity as something that is central in our party and in our country and don't do anything that can threaten the unity of this country. There is no regrets. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Meanwhile, the Olubadan of Ibadan land, or Balekon Balogun, Ali Okumade II, has congratulated all your state governor, Sheyi Markinde, on his victory in last Saturday's election describing the governor's re-election as a reward for keeping faith with people of the state. The monarch who gave the commendation in a statement by his personal assistant, media Oladele Ogunshola in Ibadan yesterday, also lauded the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, on the conduct of the polls. He said that the agency did a yeoman's job for dousing the already mounting tension ahead of the election by placing patriotism and professionalism above every other considerations in the discharge of the sacred duty, which caught the admiration of all. The election result, according to the paramount ruler, was a verdict of confidence of the people in the governor, and which he earned through his service to the people in his first term, urging him not to take the support for granted in his new term, 
but to work harder so that the people of the state will not feel disappointed. Meanwhile, Speaker of Oyo State House of Assembly, Adebo Ogudonyi, has been returned as member representing Ibarapa East State Constituency seat. This followed his declaration as the winner of Ibarapa East State Constituency election by the returning officer, Professor Oyinlola Oladeji. Ogundonyi polled 10,039 votes to defeat 12 other candidates. The speaker, who expressed appreciation shortly after he was declared winner of the election by Heineck, said the victory was dedicated to the people of the constituency. He said, Our people have spoken with their votes. It is their victory. It is their decision. The people of Ibarapa East State Constituency have given us their mandate once again. Hence, I am overwhelmed and happy. This is God's doing, and it is marvelous in my sight. To the Lord be the glory. Meanwhile, the candidate of Accord Party in the 2023 governorship election in Oyo State, Adebayo Adelabu, has congratulated Governor Sheyi Markinde on his election victory. Recall that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, on Sunday declared Markinde, candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, as the winner of Saturday's election. Markinde polled the highest votes than his closest rival, Teslim Fularin of the Hall Progressives Congress, APC, who came second in the election. In a statement on Sunday, Adelabu urged Governor Mark Inde to see his re-election as an opportunity to do more and serve the people diligently. He said, Though Hoyo State is not yet where it should be, this is another golden opportunity for the governor to ensure that it does not disappoint the people by ensuring even development across the state. Adelabu urged Mark Inde to especially focus on the poor state of security in the state. Equally important is the state of the environment, which needs urgent attention. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.